All right, y'all, welcome back to the channel and do some more buckshot testing. And I've got a really interesting one out here today that we're finally gonna get some answers for the question about these particular rounds because there's a lot of debate over them. And if you ask a bunch of different people, they're gonna say probably a bunch of different answers. So hopefully we're gonna be able to figure out what works and what doesn't work with these loads. So the question is, when it comes to federal flight control buckshot rounds, what choke is the best choke to use? Some people will say the typical modified full choke, whatever that they like to run with their normal buckshot loads. Others will say, cylinder or improved cylinder because of the flight control wad now for the load obviously i've got some of the federal flight control buckshot loads here these are the 12 gauge two and three quarter inch nine pellet double lot buck loads that say they want to go 1325 feet per second and as for the setup out here today i've brought my remington 1187 premier out here but for this test this choke that's in the gun right now is a cylinder bore choke and this is how we're going to do things. I have four chokes out here today. A cylinder, an improved cylinder, a modified, and a full choke. All of which are factory stock chokes for this gun. So there's no porting. There's no wad grabbing little fingers or anything inside of there. It's straight up just flush mounted smooth chokes. Then I have a target down here at 40 yards. Now to start out with today, we're going to do the quote unquote hunting type of scenario, a 40 yard pattern. If you guys would like to see a more defensive scenario, like seven, 10 yard patterns with the same cylinder through full choke, then let me know. And we can come out here and do that as well to see what kind of different it makes in at those kind of close ranges so I'm gonna shoot a pattern with each of the four chokes and I'm gonna mark all of our hits and measure things and we're gonna find out what our patterns look like through each one of these chokes with this flight control buckshot now I also have my chronograph so the four shots will be across there just so we can get an average speed and see how close we're running to what the box says as well and when I asked you guys about this in the community post a few days ago over 50% of you said the modified choke was going to be the best so I'm curious if y'all are right or not so with that being said enough talking let's get you guys to view the chronograph since you really just won't be able to see anything hitting our actual targets because it's a buckshot load and we don't have a reactive target we'll shoot the four shots and we'll look through our chrono numbers real quick and then we'll go down range and look at all of these targets back to back here and see what kind of comparison we have between the different chokes with this flight control wad and buckshot load so let's go over here and shoot these things and see if we can answer the question of what choke is the best with the flight control double lot buck shells. Okay, so my chronograph died before I could get the chance to go through all the averages and things like that. But I'll post the numbers on the screen here so that way you can see them all back to back and get an average and stuff like that. We definitely did not see the box claim on a few of them. But overall, that's really pretty close and it's not too bad at all for what it is. So I don't really see anything too out of the ordinary to speak of on that one but how did it actually perform down on all of our targets let's go take a look and see all right so now we're down looking at our 40 yard papers here and this is what we got for results between all these different chokes starting out here we're looking at our cylinder bore choke and this white dot on all the targets was my point of aim and we had a total of seven out of the nine pellets hit this piece of paper and the paper is 36 inches wide by roughly about 36 inches tall for a size reference. Now we did have two that were relatively close to my point of aim there. But the rest of the other ones were kind of strung off in a diagonal. So that gave us a spread of 31 and a half inches from that top left hole to the bottom right hole down there. Now obviously it's a little bit larger than that I'm sure because we're missing two pellets off this paper here. So definitely not looking too bad for a cylinder bore choke at 40 yards to start out with that's for sure. But can we get any better? Let's move over to the improved cylinder choke and let's see if we got any better results from that or if we're already starting to go backwards. 
All right, now we're over here looking at our improved cylinder pattern at 40 yards. And as you can see, right off the bat here, we have a very hot core area right there for buckshot. That is a pretty tight looking pattern for 40 yards. Now, with that being said, we only have eight out of the nine pellets on this paper still. So one is missing off this paper somewhere. But with that being said, measuring from the very bottom hole down there to this top hole over here, it gave us 19 inches of spread at 40 yards here. That is not bad at all right there. Even though we have one pellet missing, I really can't complain at all about that. That would be devastating if you took that out after a deer or a hog or something like that. Having that core area right there, I mean, that is absolutely gonna get the job done. So, so far, it's looking like improved cylinder is the best way to go, but let's move over to our modified choke and see what that one might've gave us. All right, now we've scooted over and we're taking a look here at our modified choke target. And this is getting pretty interesting here. Now, for whatever reason, the shot did go a little bit to the left of my point of aim, but no big deal because we have all nine of the pellets on this piece of paper here. And that is a beautiful looking buckshot pattern for 40 yards right there. And as for performance, I measured from that far left pellet over there to this far bottom right pellet, which was our two farthest points apart. And it gave us 18 and a half inches. Of total spread there so even though it's only a half inch better than the improved cylinder choke we have all nine of the pellets within there instead of just eight so that is definitely what i would say to be the best so far 18 and a half inch spread at 40 yards with a modified choke and double lot buck that's not bad at all right there so with that being said the modified choke i believe is in the lead now but how did our full choke do let's move over and take a look at that and see what we got all right, so now we've shifted over to looking at our full choke target, and this is what we got. First off, we had a pretty nice center hit there, but as you can see, we definitely opened up a little bit. We've got one kind of flyer all the way up there at the top, and a little bit of a string down toward the bottom there. So I would say we've started to go backwards just a little bit on our performance here, which took us to be a 24 and a half inch spread from that very top hole to those very bottom two right down there. So overall, not a bad pattern, but definitely not as good as the improved cylinder or the modified choke for sure on this one. So with that being said, it's looking like our modified choke is the winner with a very close second being the improved cylinder choke, I would say on this one. So finally, we have some little bit more definitive answers on paper here. And it also looks like over 50% of you were correct in the community post. So definitely we have some really good and interesting results and some more definitive answers out of this test today, I would say. Okay, so here are the wads out of all of our shells today, and they're organized from left to right, cylinder, improved cylinder, mod, and full, all the way on the right. And I gotta be honest, they all really look pretty much the exact same. I mean, maybe the full choke, the bottom of the skirt down there might be a little bit more open, but all in all, there's nothing really too special to see about these, but you can definitely see how these flight control wads are kind of designed to work. They have these pedals up at the top there that fold out and kind of slow the wad down, as well as the rear deploy type of skirt down there. So definitely really interesting to see, but they all essentially look pretty well identical on this one. All right, y'all, so what do you think about those results there? That was definitely some really interesting testing, and we finally have an answer of what the best choke is for the Federal Flight Control Buckshot for the longer range hunting type of scenarios. But what do you guys think? It seems like a number of you guys expected that to kind of be the case between the votes on the modified and the improved cylinder choke kind of stealing the show in the community post leave a comment and let me know all your thoughts about it but at the end of the day we definitely had some impressive patterns at 40 yards for double up buck out of both the improved cylinder and the mod choke that would absolutely do the job on any deer or hog or anything like that there's no doubt about that so leave your thoughts in the comments and we also have an Instagram now as well where you'll be able to see things like this or at least sneak peeks to them a little bit ahead of time. So I'll leave the link to that in the description if you would like to go over there and check that out. But with that being said, I've got plenty more testing and hunting coming y'all's way soon. So keep an eye out for all that and I'm going to jump back to it. So I'll see y'all in the next one.